Hi Elvis fans, I'm doing some Priscilla Presley videos and what I'm trying to do is get a feel for how she was after they divorced so that we can see what she did as a career, how she was with Lisa Marie, the different boyfriends she had, how her stories uh, differ from the 70s to the 80s and 90s and noughties, etc. So we just get a more of a rounded feel for how things were with Priscilla Presley and how things changed over the years. So here she is in an interview filmed in 1979. She was 34 years old and she's being questioned about Lisa Marie. Let's have a listen. We have a lot of things we'd like to do, travel. I want to start traveling with her now and letting her see the world a little bit. Right. Have you protected her, do you think? Oh, yes. Overprotected, so. maybe, or not? Uh and I know that Priscilla Presley was a very strict mother and very protective over Lisa Marie. And she was a completely different parent to Elvis Presley, who basically was extremely soft and gentle and let Lisa Marie do what she wants. And Elvis just felt that he wanted Lisa to have everything that he didn't have when he was a child. So she basically got away with murder. But Priscilla had a completely different outlook on how she was going to parent Lisa Marie. Let's keep listening. Um, I always ask myself that question. I don't feel I've overprotected her. She's very aware of what's going on. I'm always talking to her. She, uh, she listens. She's a wonderful child. She was 34 years old in 1979 and she was seeing a well-known model and actor called Michael Edwards, which you probably know from because he wrote a tell-all book about Priscilla and himself and their relationship. I think they were together around six years. Uh, quite an odd book because he says some strange things about Lisa Marie and I think they were both unfaithful to each other. She was also promoting a lot of products around the world. I think hair products, maybe fragrances uh, and some other things. So she was becoming a much more independent person at this time after really a period where she had just stayed quite reclusive. Let's keep listening. Is, the, is uh, now that you're going to be a little more public, is there a danger of her sort of being overwhelmed by um, mm. whatever, attention, uh, too much attention? I don't think so. She's used to it. She handles it very well. In fact, if there's photographers around, you know, she'll put her hand up saying, no pictures, please. You know, and she'll avoid, really? She avoids photographers. She has no use for them. Uh, I guess she probably got that from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See someone with a camera and she'll... You know, definitely, you know, my God, there's a camera mother and we're both dodging it. So. A young age to be aware yeah, of all very of Very aware. So a bit of an insight into how Priscilla Presley and Lisa Marie were towards the press, how they felt about the press. I think they were both very defensive when it came to the press and really had had enough of the press, were fed up with them. So would react when there was so many around hounding them. I think this changed in later years with Priscilla, but I think Lisa Marie always never liked the press following her around. Let's keep listening. What do you want for her? What, uh, how do you think about her and her future? So this is the most interesting question for me in this interview, because an 11 year old Lisa Marie Presley and what intentions does her mother Priscilla Presley have for her future so let's listen i think i'm always thinking about her you know um i want her to do what she wants to do i don't want her to feel she has to follow in her father's footsteps i don't want other people you know trying to encourage her to take this or to take that i at one time two or three years ago i really was encouraging her to take piano lessons or you know because she does have a talent she's very talented and uh, I know she inherited this from her father because he was gifted and I believe she is too. And I was trying to force her in, into playing the piano, but she doesn't want to play. So this 
is interesting. But Priscilla says when she was younger, she did encourage Lisa Marie to get into singing and music and piano, etc. But Lisa just didn't want it. So eventually she decided to just let her do her own thing. I mean, we know that Lisa Marie was quite a rebellious 11 year old. She was a rebellious 12, 13, 14 year old. She went through the usual teenage phases that all of our kids have gone through. And I think eventually Priscilla just decided to just leave her to her own devices and see how things turn out and to not apply pressure to her to follow in her father's footsteps and just see what happens. And I think that was probably the right thing to do. I don't want her to feel she has to follow in her father's footsteps because it's a lot of pressure on her. She's going to have enough. And whatever she wants to do, I think it's totally up to her. Well, that's the end of the interview from 1979 from a very beautiful 34-year-old Priscilla Presley who's still trying to work out her way, how she's going to be a mother to Lisa Marie and deciding about her future. So I hope you found this interesting. Can you please comment how you feel about this interview and the different things that were said how you feel about the 11 year old Lisa Marie Presley. Uh, I'm very interested in my subscribers point of view on everything, no matter what it is, good or bad. Thanks for listening.